story you'll see only on five. After four years of textbooks and tests, Fairview High School seniors are now in the home stretch, but they've got one more exam to pass before graduation. Hey, here they are. They're learning how to defend themselves behind the halls, uh, beyond the halls of high school. Our Megan Hickey got an inside look at these self defense classes. They're now prepping Fairview Park teens for college campuses all across the country. It's a scary lesson for Fairview High School seniors, but one that they know they need to learn how to defend themselves in the real world that they're about to enter. Things step back and pull it towards your shoulder. That's it. Okay. They're not getting a letter grade. Peel that push as your forearm starts Whatever to come way. up onto her. But these Fairview High School seniors are taking the time to study up. Good. Excellent. Senior Sarah Hogginson is heading for Cleveland State next year, and she knows downtown Cleveland will be a huge change from her suburban surroundings. It's just a really big eye opener to have to learn this stuff. Students like Sarah trained with Fairview Park police officers, showing them that the right moves can take down a suspect of any size. Knowing that I can now like find a way to squirm myself out was kind of comforting. Fairview High School started the program last year and expanded it this spring. So keep it down here. Hoping to take a realistic approach to education. There's a lot of great people in the real world, but there's also some people that are out there that want to harm you. Police Chief Eric Upperman also warned students about the importance of being aware aware of your surroundings and every once in a while taking your eyes off of your smartphone. We're just trying to maybe wake them up a little bit before they go out on their own so that they're less prone to become a victim of any kind. Yeah. And Chief Upperman said it's important for students to avoid walking alone on campuses at night and to be protective of valuables like phones and laptops. In Fairview Park, Megan Hickey, News Channel 5.